Good morning. The time is 3.01. Our temperature in the Twin Cities is 64 degrees. I'm Karen Carnes reporting for Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Here's a look at headlines overnight. An earthquake measuring 6.4 on the Richter scale shook south-central Alaska late yesterday. The city of Valdez, about 90 miles southwest of Anchorage, was closest to the jolt of the quake. Fortunately, damages have been reported to be minimal in Valdez, and there are no injuries reported. Former President Nixon has 60 extra days to decide. That is whether he objects to making public about $1.5 million worth of his former administration's files. The files were supposed to have been released to the National Archives on September 27th, but Nixon's lawyers asked for the delay because Mrs. Nixon suffered a stroke back in August. Locally in the news, the Minnesota-Wisconsin Boundary Area Commission will meet today. The public is invited. The Boundary Area Commission will discuss several environmental issues concerning the Mississippi and the St. Croix Rivers. One major topic will be the annual Army Corps of Engineers $3 million program to improve the upkeep of the Mississippi's channels. Also, Congress has been working on legislation that would free up some $400,000 to improve the river systems in the upper Midwest. After 90 years of admitting only Roman Catholic men, preparing for the priesthood, the St. Paul Seminary will open its doors today to women who are interested in a religious career. Enrollment has declined from 115 to 85 students in the past decade, and so the Catholic Seminary is interested in educating women into the works of the church. Looking at sports, the Twins lost to the Texas Rangers last night. Final game of their three-game series, and the score was Texas 3, Minnesota nothing. And the Minnesota Vikings take on the San Francisco 49ers tonight. It's a nationally televised game at the Dome. As far as our weather forecast is concerned, we can expect mild temperatures overnight, lows in the upper 50s, and then tomorrow it should be in the upper 80s, a chance of a shower by late Thursday night. 64 degrees right now. Now let us pause in the entertainment to bring you the newest and latest job listings from the Minnesota Department of Economic Security. Your good friends at the Job Bank in St. Paul. This is a free service, friends. Here's the number to call, 296-8400. They say call between 8 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. Wanted appliance demonstrator, $4.50 an hour, a part-time job in Minneapolis. A uh, biomedi biomedical engineer is wanted, $31,500 a year, full-time job in St. Paul, master's degree, 48 months job-related experience will help qualify. Here's a job for a cashier, $335 an hour, full-time in St. Paul. General clerical person wanted, $12,000 a year, full-time job in St. Paul High School would be helpful. Social uh, psychological or psychologist and specialist wanted, salary open, full-time in St. Paul College, two years on the job. An associate producer wanted, salary open, full-time in St. Paul. General office help wanted in a photo department, $3.35 an hour, part-time in St. Paul. Photographer editor wanted, salary open, full-time in St. Paul. High school, two years on the job. Thompson die cutter wanted, $8.50 an hour, full-time in St. Paul. Inventory auditor wanted, $3.50 an hour, part-time in Roseville. Sales support supervisor wanted, salary open, full-time in St. Paul. Clerk typist, $5.82 an hour, part-time in Invergrove Heights. Clerical secretary person wanted, five bucks an hour, full-time in St. Louis Park. And uh, an associate uh, evaluation engineer, I guess is the abbreviation, $1,880 a month, full-time in Hopkins. Department secretary wanted, five fifty an hour, full-time in Golden Valley. A development engineer, senior type wanted, 2205 a month, full-time in Hopkins, master's required. Engineering aide wanted, $1,685 a month, full-time in Hopkins. And an office clerk is wanted, $4 an hour, full-time in St. Louis Park. These have been the Minnesota Department of Economic Security's newest and latest jobs. I hope you'll call this number for further information. And as always, good luck.